A comprehensive review of the Fair Dismissal Code, which governs small business, has found the system is broken. The watchdog says the code is ambiguous, open to interpretation, and results in too many small businesses being pulled into unfair dismissal hearings. Joining us now to discuss this is Kate Carnell, the Australian Small Business and Family Enterprise Ombudsman. Kate, thanks so much for your time. It's a pleasure. In simple terms for our viewers, what... What's wrong with this code as it pertains to small business? Well, look, the code was put into the Fair Work Act uh, by initially Kevin Rudd and then it was updated by Julia Gillard. It's based upon Labor Party policy. And the reason they did it was because they accepted that the, the Fair Work Act, with its quarter of a million words and 960 sections, made it very difficult for small businesses to know how to fairly dismiss some, somebody when it is appropriate to do so. Unfortunately, as often happens in these scenarios, lawyers have uh, interpreted, dro driven a truck through it and made it really quite unworkable. The Productivity Commissioner, Commission did a review in 2015 and it identified that it wasn't working. Agile Consulting did some work for the Fair Work Commission itself last year, determined it wasn't working. Many um, of a number of the, small, the uh, Fair Work Commissioners themselves have indicated that it's really not working. So what we've done is that we've produced a new draft of the of the, uh, of the, the fair dismissal code yeah. and new checklists right. to make it easier for small businesses to fairly dismiss people. We're not yeah. broadening the the basis of the, of the code at all. We're just trying to make it easy and transparent for small businesses to use and for the Fair Work Commission to interpret. And so the government likely to adopt it, do you think, given it is sticking to the principles which were already Put there? by the Labor Party, really. Yeah. Um, You're trying to fulfil the, yeah. the outcome, the, the, uh, the principles of the code as put in place by Labor. Look, um, recently, as we know, Christian Porter, the new Minister for Industrial Relations, has said that he wants to have a conversation on ways that we can make the Fair Work Act fairer um, and simple up, particularly for small businesses. So we've put this, this paper on the table that we've been working on for a long time and consulted quite broadly on to start a conversation in one, okay. you could say, small area of industrial relations, but one that really needs to be done. You know, the unions often say that they want to, uh, they want to do something about what they, what they would call um, insecure work. Now, to do something about that, and that means increasing use of, say, um, contractors, um, casuals and so on, yep. we've got to make it easier for small businesses okay. to both employ well, and You spoke dismiss. about the ability for lawyers to drive a truck through this code, this fair dismissal code. Have you got an example of where that's uh, happened? Look, the code has got a whole range of words in it, like reasonable, you know, reasonable interpretation, reasonable approach. That, you know, unreasonable, you know, under whose view of reasonable right. is it? So what we've done is get rid of those words that you can interpret in various ways and made the checklist for small businesses more specific. We've also ensured that the definitions of things like serious misconduct are more fulsome and very much in line with the Fair Work Act yep. as it currently stands. The code was a little bit more... ..was, it, was, was not as specific um, as it really needed to be. So we haven't changed the definition of, say, serious misconduct. What we've done is made it um, in line with the actual Fair Work Act and, and made it more fulsome, really. And, and from your, um, well, the constituents and the small business people, uh, does, it, does this remain the number one issue in terms of them and their their productivity, basically, the, the inability to put on and to let go staff? Well, look, what small businesses tell us all the time is that they're too scared to employ people because if things don't work out, uh, they believe that, you know, that dismissing could put them into an unfair dismissal claim and that will cost money and so they think, well, we just won't employ people or if we do, we'll employ casuals or contractors. Uh, and, look, that's not in anyone's best interest. We've got to make it easier for small businesses to employ and to keep their staff because that's what they want to do but sometimes things don't go right and we've got to make it clear on what they've got to do to fairly dismiss and that's what the code does. Kate Carnell, great to see you. Thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. Thank you.